quick cuts from knife chats like comment share subscribe ring the bell thank you hi if you follow my channel you've probably seen this knife before it's the rr090 small hunter by rough rider it's basically a little burden trout knife about six and three eighths inches long with a blade that's about a three and a quarter inch blade full tank construction stag handles nickel silver cross guard brass pins holding on the stag handle really nice leather sheath that comes with it as you notice it had a retaining strap i removed it uh, simply because the knife goes into that sheath and stays in place quite well without the uh, retaining strap and i'd rather see the tang i'd rather see the uh the stag handle than the retaining strap so that's uh the rr090 with the stag handle and the good news is it's back in stock finally. This knife was gone for quite some time. And here we have the new one. And you can see it's really not that much different than the old one. You got the uh, stag and the, the difference in that stag is basically the difference between uh, one deer and another deer. I think that's the way I would put it. And uh, nicely matched on both sides just like the old ones too if you notice. So the only way you can tell the difference between the new one and the old one is with the uh, tank stamp there. The old one has the uh, horseshoe tank stamp and the new one has the double R tank stamp. Otherwise the knives are nearly identical and uh, the quality of the build are quite, is quite well as well. Um, the difference comes when you start looking at the leather sheath though. They both still have a leather sheath but the new leather sheath uh, is not nearly as well made as the older leather sheath. You notice it's much more flexible. The leather is not nearly as stiff. And you can see here, I mean, this this is really good. Uh, notice the tightness in the, the stitching and uh, and the build quality there. The, the leather sheath just is not the same. Even the, uh, the burnishing around the edges is not as good. Um, you can see even down the throat here, the leather sheath is just not the same. And obviously also, if you notice, it is a shorter leather sheath. Um, the knife um, only goes that far in. You cannot get it any further in. If you notice, you got about a half inch of room down at the end there. And uh, it's loose. It dangles around in there. Fortunately, you do have a... a, a a retaining strap to hold it in place and it does more or less catch in place but uh, the sheath is just not as good as the older sheath that's the bad news but the good news is it's back and it's a really well-made knife uh, unfortunately the sheath just isn't as good as the old sheath I uh, wanted to point that out because uh, I didn't want somebody buying the new one and saying, I don't know what you're talking about with that leather sheath. It's just not nearly as good as you claim it to be. And um, the new one is not as good as the old sheath. But the knife, well, you can be the judge of that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, the same mirror polish on the blade, I can tell you right now, they're both the same sharpness right out of the box. And uh, the stag, it's up to you. you. You be the judge. But to me, it's quite uh, quite nice. Both of them are about the same. So the build quality is the same on the knives. It's just the sheath is different. In any case, thought I would uh, point that out to you and let you know about it. Uh, still highly recommend if you like these bird and trout knives, go ahead and grab that stag one. It's unfortunate that you're just not going to be able to get the older sheath.
And that's another wrap for a quick cut. Thanks a lot for dropping by.